Hello, hello, and welcome on to another episode of Farm Simulator 19. It has been too long, far too long since I've played this game, uh, but we're here. Loads of you, in fact, almost all of you, will know this map. It is, of course, Felsbrun. Long time since I've been on this map. I don't think I've ever done a series on it, but could be wrong. I can't really remember. I've done lots of series. But, um, first of all, I want to point out the the day I'm recording this is absolutely roasting, so if you hear wind noises, it's a fan I have on. If, uh, if I didn't have it on, I would melt into a puddle. But uh, I want to do something a little bit different with this map. First of all, you may notice I'm running seasons. I've got uh, three days per season, so there's that. Um, do a little bit of equipment tour, first of all, actually. Well, we've got this uh, American style trailer thing with uh, some seats on the back. Uh, we've got this trailer which looks in pretty bad condition even though I've not used it, so we'll see what's going on with that. Uh, we've got a Class Dominator 218 with its uh, C600 header and header trailer. We've got a fertilizer spreader here, don't... can't remember the brand. Uh, we've got a cultivator of some fashion. Uh, we've got the Amazon Cedar. Uh, we've got the Lizard pickup, or the dually, uh, barrel, barrels of diesel, and uh, a forklift. Uh, tractor wise, we currently have two tractors. Uh, that over there is uh, fertilizer. I've got a heap of those pallets sitting down at the shop, but they're a pain in the backside to actually get moved. So, a tractor, well, we've got this set uh, as well, this Rio 8200 line spreader, or laser spreader thing attached to this uh, tiny little tractor that's struggling. This is an Ursus um, 3512. A tiny little tractor. This is basically a slow yard tractor, but I've been using it for spreading the line. Over here, conveniently enough, just coming up to the top of the field, we've got a New Holland 13090 with a tiny little pile on the back. But, uh, we, we do need another tractor with a bit more power because that one over there has got like, less power than an asthmatic sneeze. So uh, let's 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 get a medium tractor. I, I want big tractors eventually, but uh, let's have something with a bit of grunt about it. That's quite nice. 155 horsepower. 145. Let's go for the the Hillman. It's not the cheapest with front lift. Um, without accessories. With front fenders, with air filter. Full optional, yes. The Master H HP. It's an extra 50 grand. Of, uh... Ah, you know what? Go for it. Been a while since I've had a Hurleyman. Look at this thing. Oh, that's quite nice actually. I quite like that. As you can see, loads of pallets and barrels and that kind of stuff sitting down here. Now, you might be wondering why on earth I'm on Felsbrook. Of all the awesome maps available to me, why Felsbrook? Basically, long story short, I want to make Felsbrook prettier. To do some map beautifications with some place some hedges and fences, and build a custom farm. And let's try and make this place look more interesting. Not that Giants did a bad job with it, I just uh, quite like the idea of um, trying to improve upon the work that they've done. Which obviously is going to be a bit of a tall order because I want to do all in the game and not do anything in Giant Center. Ah, I remember this tractor. This tractor's quite nice, actually. I can't remember how much horsepower the uh, New Holland has, but I can see using this one a fair amount. It's uh, about a 51% line left in this. So obviously, with seasons running, then that means that pretty much everything's either withered or, you know, nothing's ready to grow just yet. So, there's a lot of field prep work in 
weeds the plowing. Uh, difficulty wise I have lime required on, weeds on, periodic plowing on, um, crop destruction on, plant withering is no longer changeable with seasons. Um, just like in 17 when you get seasons on you can't turn plant withering off. And the goal for the season is to beautify the map, have a high-end farm without cheating. I don't want to use the uh, government subsidy signs. If I do use the government subsidy signs, I only want a maximum of one payment per time, and not very often. We'll try and line it up on the deal. We'll try and justify it doing like a special crop or something like that that we don't have equipment for or, or some kind of thing like that. You can suggest things in the comments below what we can do with that. What would justify is getting uh, that money. This thing takes a few seconds to turn back off. But as for crops that I'm going to put in this field, I have no idea. Uh, some of the things I want to do around the map is change the shape of the fields. And obviously I'm going to want animal pastures somewhere. So far we have no sheds, no house or anything like that, so you know, we're, we're basically starting from scratch. Difficulty wise, I, this is the farm manager, I think? Yeah, farm manager. The, the middle selection. So, uh, it's not the hardest setting for difficulty. I've got economic difficulty set to easy because I want this to be a fast paced series and it'll be spending ages to get like a couple of grand. I want quick money. And we're gonna do that through as many means as possible. Uh, placeables is also gonna play a pretty reasonably large part in that whole money earning thing, I want to use solar panels, I don't want a windmill because I think they're basically end game, once you have a windmill you beat the game, well, you, you, you have to have burnable money at that point, we are about to run out of lime, so I'll go down to the shop I guess, at some point I'd like to put a lime station actually in the farm line, but look at that, pretty much perfectly made it back to the field there. To the edge of the field. So we'll drive our way down to the shop. I mean, I could go with the forklift and pick some up, but like I said, fast paced. Now, this is not going to be an overly realistic series with anything other than the likes of seasons. Uh, so, there will be more money coming in than is realistic. And my driving is not going to be particularly great because it's me and I have really low expectations on the driving aspect things. Uh, as for the frequency of these episodes, I have no idea. Um, some of you may know I've recently just started a second channel. Uh, details of that channel can be found on the channel page for this channel. So I uh, don't know the frequency but I want to maintain both channels. Simultaneously. Let's go and get some more lime. That's ridiculously expensive lime. Is there a bigger bag of lime? This, this one's cheaper, but it's in mine. Look at that, right there. But the problem is, I don't think I can refill from the ground with these. Yeah, cool. I'm gonna go and get the forklift and bring it over here and uh, get that loaded up. Okay, dokie then. So I believe the last bike's going in. I have to um, be something I have because the forklift doesn't uh, lift these up high enough. Slightly annoying, but what can you do? Like I said, I'd just lease it. And in case you're wondering, those uh, old old JCB tele handlers are actually front loaders. So they take 
front loaders from the pallet for uh, pallet force from the front loader section and not from the deadly handler section. Just see you know, won't traffic juddering much. I need to get that fixed. Give me a minute to fix that for the entire time that I've had this computer. Watch it, it'll be fine. Don't need to worry about it. Sure, we're in a catch fire or fix itself. Uh, they're about halfway through that blue flyway now. There is that to be reasonably pleased about. More traffic to it. But we'll get the rest of this field done and then we'll do some some pieces with play, I suppose. As for time scale, or in game time scale, it's gonna fluctuate depending on what I'm doing with the likes. Um, I don't want an episode to be more than one in game day. Well, that feels up there. So I want everything to happen on Monday. So if it's a big job, time's gonna be slower. If filler episode if you will, then uh, time will be sped up, not really going to achieve massive amounts in this episode given that, well it's the first episode for the likes of the equipment tour, and talk about what we're going to be doing with the series and all that fun stuff. But with that being said, we Lime spreading is done in those two fields. I do have another pair of things I have to Where's your next one? I'm not sure. I, I have another field. Now we'll drop that off there. I'm in two minds about what to do. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to lease another plow. First, I'm going to check the garage though and see. This one has 130 horsepower and that one has 190. So we have 190 horsepower to play with, if you will. Uh, that one's 3.6 meter. That's the one I've got. Uh, I mean, I would like something more like that size. Let's see, how much is this? pick that up and uh, then we'll start climbing the other field as well. We're running the front wheel for this. I, I do like this track, it's quite nice. I wonder if it has like interactive controls. It's, it's not here too. Uh, it's fine. It'll be a bonus but it's not required. That seemed like a perfectly good entrance I came in there. But what, one issue with these plows is uh, I don't think they're pulled up. I could be wrong, but I don't think they're going to pull up. Ooh. FS19 physics right there. So let me know in the comments what you think about this new Herman tractor. I'm over for them. We haven't farmed in general. But it's much of a farm just yet, but it will be. We'll, we'll call it for We uh, make ourselves feel better. It's, it's a farm. Honestly. And what we're going to do is 
we're gonna do some uh well in the house of some fashion Ooh. What kind of size is this? I don't know if that gives me the ability to sleep. I like how this one looks though. What I'd like to do is place it like there. Let's run frantically over to it. That's fairly cheap, 26,830 quid. Oh, the terrain thing. Let's see. Oh, these doors open. Look at that. Very fancy. Can't sleep in it. Cool. Well, I need to fix this mess with the drain because just, just no. That is over here. It's actually not terrible with that. Need to do something about this bit. And I definitely need to do something at front here. So I'll get that sorted and be back with you guys in uh, just a second when we've done some scene setting. Okay. As you can see, I've done some things and stuff over there at the house. I'll show you in just a second, but first what I want to do is go and drop this uh, actual flower. This is the one with all these. So I just want to drop it off right there. And I'll get up to the spare. We'll deal with that another time. Now I want to jump into our pickup. Now one thing I didn't check is I didn't check which way the gate that I put in opens. Let's see that. As you can see I've got a gate that's there. Let's see, we've got a little letterbox, which I think and numbers, let's put it to 19. There we go. Ah, sorry, that's the way I want to be told. I don't know if they clip into the ground. Ah, it clips into the ground slightly. But we've got a little fountain here. Of course, some of the dodgier touring stuff. I have smoothed it out a bit, but it's not perfect. This is a thing that happened. I can't undo it. It's annoying. Got a couple of solar panels. I've got a little workshop thing there. Uh, oh, it does work. Turn this one. Have a no, it doesn't. So yeah, there's our farm power sword in it. It, it did cost a reasonable quite a lot actually, I think it was a painful amount of money. What I'm not sure of is if this truck would even fit in the garage. I'll, I'll take that as a no. Put this one over here. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say anything. That's fine. Yeah, I feel like a skid suit or something in eventually. Uh, what, what I don't know is how much these solar panels are actually earning me. That's just the wee tiny wee ones that I got. Yeah, 
if I can find them again, that is. Uh, 200 quid an hour, so 400 quid an hour is it's not terrible. How's our other tractor going? Let's get in there. But I'm going to call this episode here for today, guys. Hopefully, you have enjoyed it. If you have, then don't forget to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, you can hit that subscribe button and you can hit that bell icon if you don't want to miss any further updates on this or any other series on the channel. And it would also be very much appreciated if you could check out my new channel, details of which are in the description. If I remember putting them there, if not, they'll be on the channel page. Thank you all very kind of watching. See you now.